hello youtube welcome back to the channel this is Derek Tukim hope you are doing really really good all right so today in this video we're going to a little bit back for the people who wants to know DaVinci Resolve learn about DaVinci Resolve this is for the beginners a very 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 low level so about doing color grading you really want to be a color grading and you dreaming about to be a great list of color grading so you can't be there where as we are right now because there are so many things we have learned before we get in here but today i want to give you a three major steps which you can guide you to starting your journey where of you're doing car grading all right let me not waste in time please if you watch this video and you didn't subscribe please i beg subscribe my youtube channel like share comment other with the peoples i don't like bad comments <laughs> you know sometimes people do mistakes so i see sometimes people sending a very 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 worse mistakes so if you have something as to something good to tell me you can just tell me in the right way you know like you know through some nastiness very <laughs> all right so today in this video i want us to discuss this basic thing for the beginner which is, if they got it I, I i i swear to god their journey going to be uh, at a nice point all right uh first is a uh, car contrast and saturations uh, we're going to discuss a uh, contrast and saturation and a very simple way to do so and another thing is exposure so how we expose picture and the rule of it using lifty gamma gain perfectly this is for the beginner and then last is creating a look and if i was the first look which is actually is good for the starter is um orange interior this is look uh, which is a very 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 uh easy to make and it's very uh, perfect to make so let's jump into the davinci resolve and see how far we need to go all right so now we are into a davinci resolve as you can see uh we have a beautiful picture like this one so if you are getting a picture like this one and you are doing a color grade there's a lot of question you can ask yourself how can i do what can i touch to make it look good because the first time you see the picture you see the pictures looks a very very flat it is colorless so there is a couple things you need to do to make it looks like that. so one thing you need to do is to contrast the picture to make it look a standard so here it is uh there is a lot of tools to make it a contrast but easiest tools for you the beginner i think you should start learning about the contrast so today i'm going to show you how to make a nice contrast and it's the picture is going to be looking good so the first thing that you need to do is do a contrast if you're pushing left side the picture is going to be compressed so the contrast is going to be less but it, if you're just going to push at the right side the picture is going to be contrasted so the first point the things that you need to uh, focus on is uh, the picture where it is crashing so if you're going to do so much it's going to crash so you have to do less until you get a perfect lizard so to me i was end up at this point so i think this is better and another thing is doing a saturations so into saturation here what does saturation do is increasing the number uh is is, is increasing the 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 range of color so the less color when you put it to the left side is going to be a black and white when you put it to the right side it's going to be a colorful so if you want to put your picture the color you have to pull it into right side until you satisfy with your with your uh, uh, your results all right so this is uh this is a contrast and i really enjoy uh this is a contrast i really enjoy with the results so from now on today if you're going to do a car grading first thing you have to start with a contrast so you you're like okay i'm going to do a contrast now I'm pushing my contrast to the right side until I start to see the pictures getting strong and then I push a saturation until you see the picture the color is getting uh is is seen even as it looks like a uh, standard picture if you know about the standard picture or seven or nine. So after after getting the contrast, so there is something else which is called exposure. Exposure. This is where you are increase or decrease a uh, exposure what is the exposure exactly it's um 
it's a light you know every picture uh, everything that you see even in reality you see the thing in two opposite way we have a uh, light and we have the shadow which is uh we have a white point and we have a black point so the black point like if you if you if you are seeing me here you see right out of a day it's looking a little bit a uh, dark or shadow right over here is look a little bit mid and lights over here is a reflection of a light which is make it look brighter and this is the difference so into color grading as well we have that to make separation of a picture separation of a dynamic separation of exposure so we're using lift gamma and gain so this is the basic tool for you for the starter to use to make it the exposure so, all right listen careful today i'm not going to teach you up so much about doing gamma because it has so much explanation about it but today i'm going to show you way of using a perfect exposure if you have very very nice picture because if you have a bad picture it's going to be another <laughs> a big uh, uh, another problems but today uh, i think for this one this one is going to be very helpful all right to do a nice exposure first make sure you are exposure touching up to thousand points and your shadow touching to the zero points right over here uh this is going to help you to get the perfect balance of a picture if your picture has a light this is it so now i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase my gain all the way until i starting to see the light is touching up to a thousand points it's not necessary to touch on thousand points you have to check also your picture how exactly it's working all right as i told you the shadow i'm going to put it at to the down port until it's getting to the zero port so i'm going to drag my my shadow up to this point now you see the picture is starting to get good but the light is too much i'm going to reduce it so i'm satisfied it to be less as well as this not too much look now how the beautiful and perfect picture we have found into this uh correction so look how far will they go from this side to this side this side to this side it's a very 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 i'm gonna a little bit explain it about lifting gamma gain what it does because you see me touch things which you don't know what exactly uh it's work the gain is always work on highlights white parts as i told you gain work on this range thousand points is taking things at the middle points to the above it's, it's making the picture look brighter and the lift what it does it's make a picture look darker so it's working at the real range so when i raise my gain it means i'm raise everything from there let me let me let me redo it so that you can see exactly what it does so when i'm taking my gain it means it's taking the picture from the uh the high highest past highest part and make it look higher and when i take my lift down it's taking picture from a a a, a shadow part to make a block or a super shadow and whatever the point that you're going to touch with and this is how it works all right so i think after finish or doing this i'm gonna touch a color grading starting with the beautiful looks the starting point looks which is the easy way to do your stuff here is a problem a lot of beginners they struggling how to make color grading as pro level youtube itself can never pull up to that level director kim came out with the massive masterclass phase one and phase two which is the phase one has three parties and each of her parts has long house video having an issue with the car senses color management creating different looks fixing problems how to balance proper your footage shots merging deal with the small budget camera everything you need to know from davinci resolve masterclass has deep explanations if you really struggle with a way of creating look director kim never seen enough till he made the 26 lats which is has look DNA and a skin tone lat and color separations dctr power grade also available director kim really wants to shift you into next level have a permanent mentor who can guide you well to your journey of color grading he decided to create a whatsapp group for his own student member but remember to join a whatsapp group you need to buy one of his products either masterclass or loot package now let's back into the lesson into diving to resolve will this is will the things that are used in here is called a will what it will work is when you touch this point down there is this will over here is controlling exposure 
but when you touch a wheel above it is controlling uh the the is controlling the light so which means which means um when i do controlling a i mean when i i i i i control things over here is controlling not light it's controlling a a, a car from that specific pot so if i'm playing with the lift and deal with these things which it means the color that is affected is from shadow which means i'm changing the shadow shadow into the uh, the color that i put on and it, the same as the gain so if i'm changing this to the uh, gain, which means i'm changing the light which is means the white is going to change the color the color of the white is going to be a little bit changed is it because i'm changing into that parts all right here it is to the shadow what you need to do is dragging your your uh, lift into cool pots and pull your gamma into warm pots as well as into gain parts here is going to give you a better a better a better starting point of color grading look how beautiful color we just did in here look this is very 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 beautiful beautiful car that we just did this is for the beginners trust me so we're gonna back a little bit the first thing that we do is a contrast what we do is we close our contrast and saturation another thing is exposure we take exposure to the thousand points and zero points and then what we do another one is creating look which is we pull our lift into coolest parts gamma to the one part again to the one part to do this pretty and orange tea look this is how it works but as i told you if you have a hard time to create a look you can just uh, using my 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 loot package which is very 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 helpful so if you just did your correction like that you can just come here and choose any look that is going to be helpful for you so this is a uh, looks that i have and it's really 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 works well if you are the beginner and you really want to make a nice color grading i think this loot is can help you i think i love uh there is a loot that i touch here is doing good this one i think i love this one how it's work look how perfect it gives us to the picture it's a very beautiful thanks very much for watching this video i hope you really got something if you are a beginner you have a struggle a lot to do your color grading as i told you before masterclass can guide you but this is one of the three basic things to start with contrast saturations exposure and look creating by using lift gamma again pull out the lift to the uh, blue side pull up gamma to the warm side pull up again to the warm side is going to help you a lot to create the basic thing so if you want to be a pro level i think masterclass is going to help you if you watch this video without subscribe i beg subscribe my youtube channel share like comment not nasty comments but i really want you to do your support see you guys on next tutorial